Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 36 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There, we need to determine the current I1, I2, I3 in these circuits. And we know the internal resistance for each battery is 1 ohm. So we look at this circuit, we can see there are three batteries, right? 12 volts, 12 volts, 6 volts. And then, how can we solve it? The most straightforward way is the Cherhoff's loop rule. And then we look at this point, we can see the current flow in is I2 plus I3. The current flows out is I1. Mm -hmm. And then we can draw the first loop this way. Right? And we can see the 12 volts batteries make the voltage increase. And then the current goes through resistor R, so the voltage decreases by I1 times R, then the voltage decreases by I1 times 12, and then it goes through the battery 12 volts, so the voltage increases 12 volts, and then goes through the resistor R, so the, the voltage decreased by I2 times R, so minus I2 times R, and then minus I2 times 11. The current goes through resistor, voltage decreases, right? And then it goes through the 12 ohms. So this one is minus 12 times I1. So we write it there. And then we can draw another loop there. This is a clockwise loop. We can see initially we have battery 12 volts. And then current goes through resistor R. So make the voltage decrease. So this is a minus I2 times R, the minus 11 times I2, right? So go through this resistor, then come to 18 ohms. And we can see there we assume the I3 moves up. See, the current and the loop in the opposite direction. So in this way, the resistors will increase the voltages, right? So this is a plus 18 times I3 plus the I3 times R. And there we can see the battery, the current flows out this way, but it's opposite direction with the loop, so this is a minus 6. And this way, the current is I3 just flows in the down, downward, and then the loop moves upward, opposite direction, so this is plus 15 I3. As we talk about, internal resistance for battery is 1 ohms, so we input this R inside. So these three equations look like this way. And they can be simplified there. As we can see in these three equations, we have three quantities, I1, I2, I3, right? So for these three equations, we get answer there, I1, I2, I3, there, right? Now, we need to find the terminal voltages for 6 volt batteries. So we look at this uh, box. This is a battery with internal resistance, R is 1 ohms. The current goes through is I3, so they are very, very straightforward. We can see this is the EMF for 6 volts minus the current I3 times R. And then it is 5.997 volts. It's round up to 6 volts. Thank you.